Good morning, welcome back to my channel. My name's Claire. You might recognize me from Instagram or TikTok today. We're back on the YouTube channel and we are going to be doing a what I eat in a day vlog type of deal. So I'm gonna show you guys what I'm eating. And so now I've transitioned to intuitive eating and that's been really beneficial for me. And that is how you make this recipe. I've been reluctant to do so because I do not track anything and I don't count calories and I don't even have a protein goal like literally nothing I just intuitively eat so I just fed Prince and we went on our little morning walk so that's what Prince eats in a day huh mm, yeah. start my day off almost every day with protein oats I use instant oatmeal from Trader Joe's it's unsweetened and it's made with whole grain oats quinoa amaranth flax seeds and chia seeds I literally like it's it's for no reason other than the box had a nice color on it. This is the one I grew up eating. Like you could just buy the instant oats that you could, come in the. Yeah, you don't need to buy it like this. It's just just me doing me, man. Okay, now we're just gonna put some water in. In case you guys don't know how to make oats, probably you do, but that's okay. And I put extra water in because I'm gonna mix my protein powder in afterwards after I cook her up. I'm gonna be adding a scoop of the Vegan Power Pro protein powder from First Form. This is the French toast flavor and it is so freaking good. It's a very like mild, just yummy flavor. And then because it's like vegan protein powder, it doesn't upset my stomach and like every other protein powder I've tried does upset my stomach, so this is great. Dark chocolate chips, there's 72% cacao. The last addition to my oats is this. This is the nut butter from First Form as well. Also, everything I talk about from First Form, I have a support link down below where you could shop each product I mentioned. Directly supports me when you shop through the link. So thank you if you choose to do that. Anyways, this is the cinnamon roll nut butter. If you're gonna get nut butter, get the cinnamon roll one. It's the best by far. It's got nine grams of protein and it tastes so freaking yummy. That right on top. And there we go. So this is breakfast, slay. This is so good. This is like the best part of my day, honestly. Protein oats. I feel food should be like a happy and enjoyable thing and that's why I don't track is because it makes me too obsessive in like a not good way. Tracking can definitely be good for you. It's just not a good fit for me. If you've had a difficult time with tracking and feeling comfortable with your relationship with food, I would suggest intuitive eating or trying it. Done. It is time to get some steps in. I'm gonna take Prince on a nice long walk in the marina. It's our favorite thing to do together. We see seals, it's very fun. When I get back, we'll cook a quick and easy and healthy little lunch. And I'll have that like an hour-ish before I work out. I'm gonna be doing legs today. I don't remember if I said that already, but I'm very excited. I love a good leg diet, especially with my girl Lindsay. I'll probably just put my gym clothes on now. Yeah, and then we'll get walking. Huh, Princey? Huh, baby? Yes, yes. Are you excited for a walk? Oh, thank you for licking the camera. We are ready for our walk. Prince is very excited because he knows when I put my shoes on that we're about to go on a walk. Outfit of the day is a little Lululemon zip up and then I'm wearing some Alphalete shorts. You can use my roommate's code, Lena, to save on those. And then I'm wearing my little Young LA socks. These are my favorite crew socks ever. They're so cute. I love the little color blocking Young LA logos. Those restocked recently, so they should be in stock. So and you can use code Claire at checkout to save. We're gonna go get our walk on. Back from our walk, Prince has the zoomies so bad. He always gets like this after our walks. Huh, oh, buddy, <laughs> crazy boy. It is lunchtime, it's one o'clock. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys this very easy recipe that I make all the time. And I've shown it on my Instagram before and stuff, but I'm gonna walk you through it right now. And it's also only three ingredients, which is the best part, minus some seasoning. But anyways, you can also add other vegetables to this. This is just the lazy method. First of all, we have microwave brown rice from Trader Joe's. Pop this in the microwave for three minutes and it's done. Much easier than a rice cooker, much quicker. And then we have the Greek chickpeas with parsley and cumin from Trader Joe's. I used to make this recipe with plain chickpeas and season them myself. And then I found these, tried them, love them, very easy. Then, Got some organic Tuscan kale from Trader Joe's as well. 
let's go ahead and get cooking. We're just gonna go ahead and pop this in the microwave for three minutes. Okay, and then while that is going, I'm gonna grab a pan. Medium-ish heat, doesn't really matter. This is not an exact science. I also made this recipe up, so. She's not exact, but she's still very good. It comes with this oil in it, which is seasoned and it's really good. And it's great for cooking the kale down in. And then we're gonna add the kale in once those have cooked down a little bit. Uh-oh, are we out of paprika? Let's add. I'll just be using red pepper then. Again, personal preference as far as spice goes. Black pepper in two. Our rice is done cooking, so I'll show you what I do to make this easy. Basically, this recipe makes two servings. So I'm just going to take like a little reusable container and dump the rice into the bottom of the container. And literally, I'm just going to eat one helping out of it and then just put the rest in the fridge so that I don't have to make more dishes. And also get a dish out if you want to be fancy with it. As you can see, these have some browning and color to them. So I'm gonna go ahead and add the kale in now. So I just add like a couple handfuls, like I said, no recipes being used. Also, this is gonna decrease in volume a lot after it's cooked down a little bit. So it might look like a lot initially, but it's gonna cook down a good amount. Mix that in a little bit and then let it cook down. I just taste test it. I would say if you have paprika, worth adding. I always do. I'm kind of bummed I don't have it. I'm gonna go ahead and take it off the heat now. This is what we're working with. Soften. And still got some good color and texture to it. You can cook this down kind of as much as you want, depending on what texture profile you're going for. But I'm just going to go ahead and literally just put this on top of the rice now. So there we go. Easy peasy. It's honestly most aesthetic when you miss the bowl a little bit and get some on the counter. It really adds to the overall dimension of the dish. It's okay that it's like pouring over the top of the container because like I said, I'm gonna eat a serving now and only pack up to store the part that I am saving for another meal. Now it's time to munch, let me go get a fork. Fork is secured. Let's do a taste test on camera. Gotta blow on it because it's gonna be hot. Mm-hmm. Very good. Hot. Like I said earlier, to elaborate on it, I don't track calories, don't try to hit a protein goal. I try to eat whole foods. I eat my fruits and veggies because I enjoy them. Like, I eat food that I like and that makes me happy because food is such a love language for me. Like, I feel like it's a form of self-care to like eat plentiful and healthy and yummy food and to have dessert more than once a day. Like, that's just how I am. So, I'm not to say that like tracking or anything is bad, but I choose to be as unrestrictive as possible in order to help myself progress past the eating disorder that I've been very vocal about across YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok. I'm like still in recovery, I would say, but far better than I was even two, three years ago. Um, but yeah, I had an eating disorder for like a good seven years. Anorexia, bulimia, the whole, whole nine yards. And then it was just kind of restrictive eating. And so now I've transitioned to intuitive eating and that's been really beneficial for me. So I think food is honestly very, very in between different types of body goals, physique goals, overall health goals, mental health goals, I and mean, it varies with people's digestive systems and all that kind of stuff. So that's why I don't typically show what I eat in a day because I don't want anyone to look up at me like, this is what I need to eat or this is what I should be eating. Like you do you girl or guy, you know? Yeah, so we're getting some protein in, getting some carbs in and getting some greens. To me, that's a well-balanced meal. I'm gonna go ahead and eat though, then we'll put the rest of this in the fridge and head over to the gym for a good workout. All right, I'm gonna walk over to my apartment gym. I changed into a different pump cover. This is like a young LA quarter zip. Code Claire to save. I don't know, I think it's like a medium or something. And then I'm drinking the first form blue raspberry energy drink. This and the cherry lime are my two favorite energy drinks ever. They're the only ones that give me the same like jittery feeling that powdered pre does. So I love them. And I'm bringing one for Lindsay as well. All right. We are at the apartment gym and Miss Lindsay Renee is here. Hello. I'll link her shit down below. We're going to start <laughs> with a warm up and I think we're going to do uh, hip flexor thingies. We could do the yeah, abductors. Yeah. We are also going to be doing a full leg dive. We're going to do a little bit of quad, glutes, hammies, the whole thing. The whole shebang. The whole entire thing. And we're warming up on hip abductors. <laughs> The whole leg. <laughs> Just the the whole legs will thing. be legging. The entirety of them. Thank you. Starting off today's leg day with some hip abductors. We went ahead and did three sets of... Look at that booty. 20 to 25 at a moderate weight and then a drop set to finish it off. I think I'm just hoping my ass is going to look like yours if I wear a CLS. 
next we moved into my favorite way to target my quads which is with your classic leg extensions for our first two sets we did 12 to 15 reps really slow on the negative and very controlled at a moderate weight and then we went ahead and hit two that's right two triple drop sets so 10 reps at a heavy weight then 12 reps at the lower weight and then another 12 reps at an even lower weight killer that'll get you on the floor oh there she goes <laughs> And to know that you're doing a correct weight, the last two reps of each of those sets within that tri set should be very, very challenging. Pump cover is off. We're doing hip thrusts now. Slay. Wow, she's pumped. Mm, get it. Then we moved into a leg day staple for a good old glute pump. We started out with an AMRAP set with a plate on each side of hip thrusts. And then we went ahead and moved into three working sets of 12 to 15 full reps all the way through the range of motion. And then 12 to 15 pulses. You should be struggling for those pulses. And that's so you know you're at a good weight for you. Next, we went ahead and moved into a seated leg curl. I used the same exact structure as I did in the leg extensions with the two sets of 12 to 15 reps followed by the two triple drop sets. Again, very brutal. Hammies are on fire. You're isolating those and working them very hard here. Then, even though our legs are super fatigued at this point, we're going to go ahead and move into some reverse lunges here. You can also use a Bulgarian split squat, a single leg press, whatever you prefer. Just working on a single leg movement here. I went ahead and did 8 to 10 reps on each side. Again, last 2 to 4 reps should be very challenging. And then that's how I decide that I'm at an adequate weight. Now, we don't want to neglect our calves. So we're going to go ahead and finish out with 4 sets of 20 reps of calf extensions. You can do calf raises, whatever you want to do. Just make sure that negative is slow and controlled. Okay, done with our leg day. Claire has officially uh, killed me. So I will need a cane. <laughs> Great, me too, me hobbling to ask people for equipment. <laughs> right, workout is done. We took some thought pics. Sure okay, now we're gonna walk back to my place so that Lindsay can meet my dog. Yay! Yay! Okay guys, we're back from the gym. I'm gonna be having leftover pasta. It is the next day, but I'm gonna pop in here to show you guys how I make the pasta that I ate. Very simple and quick. Sorry if you can hear the laundry going in the background. So you can substitute any dry pasta. Today I'm gonna use this organic Italian artisan pasta from Trader Joe's. I'm also gonna be using this vodka sauce from Trader Joe's, but I also love just their normal marinara, like the tomato basil one too. For protein, we're using this one today. It's the turkeyless ground turkey, but I also like impossible meat. Literally anything works. And then if you actually eat meat, you can use normal beef or normal turkey as well. Oh, and then I'm also gonna put kale in the sauce too, but we'll show that when I'm cooking. I'm just gonna salt my water and get it boiling. You wanna generously salt so that it tastes like the ocean. That's how you know you did it right. Turkeyless ground turkey from Trader Joe's has 21 grams of protein. The pasta has seven grams of protein per serving. And then I don't think the sauce has any. Oh, two grams, 30 grams of protein. And then we're getting four grams of protein from our kale as well. And I'm just gonna be using the rest of the bag from the recipe that we did the other day as well. Look at this sunset right now. Are you kidding me? I will literally never get over this view. You couldn't pay me to get over it. Like, I'm just not gonna shut up about it, sorry. I'm gonna be spraying some avocado oil spray into the pan here, and then we're gonna go ahead and put in the fake turkey. So normally I would add some pesto to this to season with, and then also paprika, but I'm out of both of those. So we're gonna go with I have pepper flakes, garlic salt. Usually I season my food better, but I need to go back to Trader Joe's to get some more seasoning. I'm like out of everything. So we're working with what we got. Here's what our meat is looking like. It's about 80% of the way cooked and seasoned. So I'm gonna go ahead and add the kale now. It's about like half a bag of kale, but if I had a full bag, I might even add all of that. Like I said, I don't really follow recipes, just eating with my heart. I'm gonna add the sauce to our kale and fake turkey. Oh my God, that smells so good. I'm gonna go ahead and add some pasta water very carefully into the sauce. I'm just guesstimating here. This is what our sauce is looking like so far. Bruh. 
Look at this. And that is how you make this recipe. Mm. It's like my favorite fall comfort food, pasta. So good. I'm gonna heat this up and eat this for dinner. And then I'll probably have the rest of that chickpea stuff again later. Cause it's only, it's almost 5 p.m. But I have somewhere to go. So I'm just gonna eat this and then have the rest of the leftovers later. I forgot to mention after having my dinner, we're having two of these. These are Dunkers. They're the chocolate coated ones. If you're gonna get these for Trader Joe's, do yourself a favor, get the chocolate coated ones. They're much better. Mm. So good. <laughs> and then I'm also eating some of these. I've already had two. Tangy Turtles, tart and sweet gummy candy from Trader Joe's. I told you guys, my sweet is crazy. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here because I'm not gonna get the last part of what I'm <laughs> eating today in the video, but I'm going to a sports bar to watch the World Series, so I'm gonna have beer there. So you can add that to the what I eat in a day. Cause like I said, I'm not restrictive. I'm going to a sports game I'm going to drink. Anyways, here's the fit. I'm doing a jeans try on haul in a couple weeks. For you guys, I've been collecting a whole bunch of ones that fit like an athletic build really well. So I'm excited to show you guys that gonna go watch the world series and yeah thank you so much for watching i love you guys make sure to subscribe turn your post notifications and i'll see you next sunday at 10 a.m